Hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna play a little matchup against Twisted here. Let's see if he's trolling me this game or not. Alright, looks like he's playing Rock. I, of course, am going for Roman, so definitely don't want the demoralize against a Ra, and definitely don't want outmaneuvered early against a Ra. I just want to spawn as much stuff as I can. I've got a 2-drop into a 3-drop. Missing a 4. But I'm against a Ra, so I'm, I'm playing up pretty hard. Um, there's thought to putting it here, but 1, 2, 3 is out of range of back here, where he can spawn a unit. This will force him to spawn units over here, unless he wants to put them in range of my Thracian, or unless he wants to Sunder. Okay. If he's using Sunder, that's fine. Venator is actually better than Chaos spawn early. 1, 2, 3, 4. I think I'm still going to spawn it up. Um, there's thought to which one is correct, but I think attacking the Ra is going to be correct, because I don't want him to heal. The faster I get rid of that Ra, the less he gets to heal. And it's an appeasement deck, so that was incorrect, but that's okay. All right. Um, it's never correct to pass this turn, I don't think. Uh, I'll play it farther away from this stone. But I definitely want it up in range of the stone. Next turn's a little awkward, I haven't drawn a 5. But if I can keep throwing out minor cards that he has to deal with. Uh, ooh, this is actually a really good draw. Um, okay, so there's two lines here. I can Hero Power Chaos Spawn. Chaos Spawn probably going on to the draw. Actually, is it going out of the draw? Yes, because I have Reign of Arrows. Yeah, I think that's correct. I'm going to play it back, so 1, 2, 3, the Bastet cannot get to it. We're going to attack into the stone so the Bastet can't kill herself. Actually, I should have attacked into the Bastet, because I want the Bastet to die so I can proc Reign of Arrows on all the kitties. I think it's always Sylvanas next turn, unless she procs Bastet. The sun has risen once <clears throat> again. The glow. So that's a, that's a pretty big mana turn where he did effectively nothing. Um, I think I proc the Bastet, actually. It floats a lot of mana, but I think it's correct. Whip the air. I proc the best stat. And I rain of arrows all the kitties. So he can't appeasement the kitties if he wants to appeasement his raw. With only two cards getting buffed, I'm perfectly okay with that. That's why I silenced the draw card. Focus Blast. And then another kitty. Okay. Well, I think Sylvanas is going to be correct here. Even uh, The chances are that he has removal is actually fairly low at this point in time. So let's play... Ba um, let's play Sylvanas here. He probably has two mana to heal the stone. Next turn. So, my choices are to trade into the Bastet. This puts me at five. Am I okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that. 
I would rather have the Bastet proc the kitties on her turn so that I can then remove two of them. So he's going to use the heal on the Bastet rather than on the stone, so I effectively gained one health on that stone. And it cost me two of mine. Which I think is a good trade. Currently it would take three turns of Sylvanas auto-attacking the stone to kill it. Uh, this is, I think... I think I just stun Neath. Or do I stun Bastet and then demoralize for Neath? Either way, I'm playing the stun, and then I'm going to demoralize. So do I want... Oh, okay, so I always want to stun Neath, right? Because my Bologna takes no damage regardless. Unless I want to attack first. You're going here. So now my options are I can stun the Neath, trade, or stun the Neath, demoralize, trade, and have three one ones, Or I can... Demoralize, uh, demoralize second. So either way, I'm stunning Neath. And then we demoralize. Um, this does give him three one one kitty cats, which I'm okay with. I could have demoralized after killing the best stat. Then it removes my Bologna anyway. And then he just has three zero ones on board. I'd rather have him have one 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 than three zero ones. So the Neath is out of range of my Sylve. What happens with this Meow Mix? Can you trade in? Okay. Well, my Terra's going to remove his Neath. And I think this guy pushes stone damage. I have 9 mana, so I can play Bologna and then probably the other Sylvanas. Unless I draw something pretty good. Venator. Not good enough. I could also remove Ra. But I don't value that as highly. I sense a battle approaching. Let us hope our enemies have skill. Good morning, Ruba. Time to get up. This horse needs our protection. That's the spirit. I chose this spot because now it's in two different spawn zones and forces his uh, Ra to move in order to kill the Terra. And next turn I have another Terra that I can spawn in his face and stun whatever he plays. If he plays a minion. If he doesn't play a minion, then that means he's removing something of mine. Annihilation doesn't work right now because it still leaves the board with two five ones that then would respawn because I would trade one into the raw, which then gives me a five four with exhaustion. That is not the draw he wants. Oh, he actually killed his raw. So I think I outmaneuver my Sylvanas, right? Then Hero Power Venator? I think that's correct. I could kill a stone. I'd rather kill the st oh wait, I have to do a unit. Okay. I was gonna say I'd rather kill the stone, but that's fine. 
Um, and we're always Bologna powering. I think you move here. You move up and trade into that one. We play the Venator forward. And Sylvanas the stone. Which then leaves him with a 1-1. One, one that cannot remove anything on board. I have a Sylvanas in hand. That I can replay. And the Annihilation isn't that good. in this particular situation, so I can just kill that stone there. So I move you up, whack the stone, and then we Bologna ability into another Sylvanus. Now I've got a 5, 6, 5, 1, but 1, 4. He's got not the cards to win the game. And on top of that, I drew Giannis, so he was pretty much toast regardless.